A dominant club hockey program since 1971, the Penn State Icers won a record seven ACHA national championships. In 2010, a push to transform Happy Valley into Hockey Valley began with a $102 million gift from Terry and Kim Pagula. The money allowed Penn State to start building one of college hockey's best facilities. Still, elevating the program to Division I status came with its own unique set of challenges. Initially, we talked a lot about the university and what the vision was, because obviously we didn't have a building, we didn't have uh, the fans or the student section. And there was a lot of people that we contacted that were very enamored with Penn State, but didn't want to lose. We needed the guys that believed that they could make Penn State hockey really good um, when they arrived on campus. Penn State's first varsity season arrived in 2012, when the Nittany Lions played as an independent. That team, led by Captain Tommy Olchick, forwards David Glenn and Casey Bailey, and goalie Matthew Scoff won 13 games. No victory was sweeter than a win over number 16 Wisconsin, the program's first against a ranked opponent. Bailey down low, saved by Peterson, big rebound! Peterson is safe, rebound, they score! Penn State overtime game winner, Taylor Holstrom! The next season saw Penn State move into both the newly created Big Ten Hockey Conference and their own sparkling new facility. With the completion of Pagula Ice Arena, excitement and belief in the potential success of the program started to grow. For the first time in Pagula Ice Arena's history, here come the Penn State Nittany Lions. Penn State, nice puck hunger along the wall. Jensen lets it fly. They score! Welcome to Hockey Valley. I mean, starting with the student section, it is, I, I don't think I'm being biased. I, they're the best student section I've ever seen. They really accepted us with open arms, and it's something that has made our experience as players just that much more exciting. The Roar Zone is tremendous. You know, they keep us in every game. They're, it's, it's incredible just, you know, and I love being in the first and third period, just looking up and seeing everyone and doing the pom-poms, doing the chants. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's fun. It's what college hockey is all about. It's loud. It's raucous. They're mean every night, and uh, we really feed off it. Carrying that momentum throughout their first year in the Big Ten culminated in a double overtime victory against Michigan in the first ever Big Ten Hockey Tournament. They score right off the face of Penn State next stop, Wisconsin. Despite posting a winning record in the Big Ten each of the following two seasons, this year presented new challenges to the program. The coaching staff needed to find a way to replace the team's top two goalies while also integrating 13 new faces into the lineup. So it wasn't a year that we thought, boy, this is going to be the, where everything comes together. We really thought of this more as a rebuilding year. We were very, very excited about this group, but it, it was going to be a question of how quickly were things going to be uh, able to come together. Worst shooting on you. Our senior leadership and the returners had done such a good job with, I think, the, the new players that everybody felt really comfortable right from the start. On the rebound! It's Dylan Rashard, Penn State leads! In mid-January, with the team playing at a level it had never reached before, Penn State achieved a more tangible first when the Nittany Lions were ranked number one in the nation. Obviously, not too many people thought that we would come to that success level. So to do that in four years um, was pretty special for me. It, it, it was cool, you know, it, it, it was something that we worked really hard to, to get to and we, you know, we deserved it in every, in every sense of the, of the ranking. What I really underestimated is the amount of noise that it brought from not only here, but, but outside in the nation. And that's something we haven't had to deal with. And I think we learned a lot through that experience. After collecting an incredible 60 wins over the past three seasons, the Nittany Lions believe their program is poised to make a run at the Big Ten Championship and beyond. How many times have you been in the tournament? I'm going to steal a line from Eamon McAdam. It was he who said, you know, the next step is to win on a big stage. And uh, I, I think he's 100% correct. Next step for the program, I think, is win a Big Ten Championship and make a run at the National Championship. I think it's time we uh, take that step and get some uh, hardware in Pagula.